Diddy has been accused by four different women. So you have a guy who has all the cars and all the monies and all the furs and all the power. It wasn't And it wasn't enough. enough that he had to bend people's will, blackmail them, have abused them. Where does that insecurity come from? <laughs> now, in all fairness, with Diddy, he did warn us. He said that he wouldn't stop. And he said he's bad boy for life. He can't even stop now. We should have seen all of these things coming. This is our fault. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Most people probably know, but if you don't know, P. Diddy has been accused by four different women. He's been sued by four different women being alleged. Uh, we can't say it on here. Essay, an essay, if you will. An so he, uh, he did a, a act that was not consensual. Four women have come out He's of the He's also getting accused allegedly of smashing a lot of dudes. Okay. And, yeah. That's, and, I don't know if he's being sued for that, but that's another thing no, that's well, probably not. Because guys, in order to sue for that, you got to admit to it. You, oh, okay. You, know, you got to admit to that you were there. You can't really rap after that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and, and they're not saying that he, he didn't drug nobody and, and give them the old sleep smash. He, you know, like it was, it was like, transactional that you figure, Oh, if I do what he wants me to do, then I'll have a career, which from a lot of people would say, that, I mean, that allegedly that that happened. Thank you for my- using the word allegedly. Finally. Yeah. I, I like it. We got You're you welcome. doing it. You're welcome. Dante's not, you, Dante's used to raw dogging out here and just going, yeah, he did that shit. I'm like, Dante, everybody please. knows that. <laughs> no, Dante, know please. Cousin, his cousin told me. Wait, what? Um, now you bring his cut? Yeah, Dante brings his cousin into it. Yeah, his cousin, Frank Williams. I, like, Dante, I please, you're killing me. Be, anyway, all right. Allegedly. Frank I Williams from Bensonhurst, hated. Brooklyn. Well, there's a reason why we started off talking about Buff Daddy, because it was just a, a revelation for me real quick. And I was thinking about, like, um, uh, I, I wouldn't call Buff Daddy the most attractive person, right? Mm-hmm. But he's not a bad looking guy in any by any means. I mean, his eyes is a little close together. Oh, like geez. beady little like a oh. beady little rat. Oh boy. With okay. Eyes. Looks like if somebody had dropped his facial uh features on the ground and somebody like swept it up, like to pick it up in a dustpan, like they might have swept them, swept everything too close together. And uh okay. That's a little rough. The, the, the eyes are beady. They're okay. close. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, they're a little bit close. He, so my point is he's not a bad looking guy. He's clearly a uh, high value male. Uh, shout out to Kevin Samuels. No name above his. Uh, won't let, you know, the, the Lord and Savior. Um, but he's a high value man. The guy's worth millions and millions of dollars. He's powerful. He's not a bad looking dude. He's not out of shape. I mean, he's not kind of, he's, you know, he's not a got a, he's not like ripped, but he's not out of shape. Um, and um, you wonder why a guy like that has to do so much to keep a girl that, like, first of all, they none of them knew that he was allegedly a tyrant. I mean, we do know that um, his wife, uh, his wife or girlfriend, Cassie. The girlfriend that she well, sued him. She's for suing him. Yeah, I don't think she. Essay, had she no. sued him, and he, and he settled out of court, right, for an undisclosed bat bag of money. I would say. So, so my point is, here's a guy. It's not a bad looking guy. He's clearly powerful. He's clearly rich. Clearly a high value man. Kevin Samuel, so no name above his. Um, <laughs> and you wonder why a guy would have to do so much. To to maintain a, a woman's um, silence, or uh, why why are you stalking people? I, I I I um there's a couple of people that told stories how um you know different people that 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 uh, uh that he had threatened um, people that you know I I heard there, there was a story about him threatening somebody who was being friendly to J-Lo when he was dating J-Lo that he threatened and that uh, there's alleged stories on the internet about him chasing women around and, you know, having her stalked where she would sh- sh- be with some guy in the, in the, doing 
doing a doing an uh doing some music in a in a studio and then he would pop up and we had dudes beat up and stuff like that for, because they were you know they were messing with somebody who he was messing with or somebody and what's what's interesting about that is it it, it all screams this level of insecurity so it's like you know guys are always looking at this whole thing as yo I I don't make enough money. I don't have a job. I don't have a car. I don't have a... Um, and so you have a guy who has all the cars and all the monies and all the furs and all the power. Not a bad-looking guy. All the homes and fly you in and fly you out. What makes this guy so, so afraid that if he is... If he is... um, If a woman is left to judge what his value is on the face level, that she would leave him at a whim. Like, where does that insecurity come from? Well, you know, know exactly where it comes from. It comes from flat out not having game. Yeah. You just never had any game. And we've seen this time and time before. You t you've always said real game is no game at all. And what happens right. is these dudes get famous for their art, you know, and they develop this level of power. And they don't have to work. They've they never had game before, and they never have to work for it once they do have fame because women flock to them because of the power, the fame, and the money they have, and they never develop any of that. They never develop mm -hmm. how to deal with uh, deal with women, how to pick up women, how to maintain a relationship. And, and, and it's a crazy it's, thing. It's like I've seen, I like I've been to uh, a club. Like I used to date a girl who was always at the VIP parties, always hanging out at the VIP parties. And I'm, I was like at parties with Diddy there. And it's, there's no, there's no short list of women who want to get at him. Do you know what I mean? Like they're trying to get at him, like for real, trying to get him. They're ready to, they're ready to party. Um, they're, Diddy, Diddy, they chanted his, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, there's plenty of what's, women who wanted to be consensual with him. That's for sure. Right. And that's the old Bill yeah. Cosby argument as well, because it wasn't like Bill Cosby had a shortage of women who were trying to get hit at him either. No, so, no. And what is it? Uh, well, oh, he, I, the funny thing, one time I, I met a, a girl and she said, oh yeah, one time, one time I slept with Danny Glover and I was like, first of all, stop telling people that. <laughs> why why don't tell anybody that that you slept with that that's not a brag that's i was gonna ask you brag. what year but at this point it doesn't matter what year doesn't would that matter. have been yeah it was it was danny glover like i mean look he was with mac when he was with bleak the weapon i'm trying to retire he was old then uh, so I'm getting too old for this <laughs> he didn't say that when it with that tried to get that booty he didn't go, I'm too old for this. I'm trying to retire. I just got two more weeks. Um, so there's, there's celebrities and there's always willing participants. There's, but there's something to the fact that when they get these, and, and, and these women are much younger than him. You know, they're all 20s and late 20s late to middle 20s early 20s and 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 so they're not only that but you mature wise intellectually these women have nothing for you um they're beautiful women and i'm not taking nothing away from them but your value you know just his value the fact that he has amassed the amount of wealth and 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 the pitfalls i mean i mean it's all coming out now all the dirty stuff that he does but even if we even if we remove all the dirty stuff to, to amass a, a multi-million dollar business. There's a certain level of intellect. There's a certain level of proficiency and execution. Even if he did things, you know, you know, uh, unethically, like you can't be a dummy to achieve that level of success. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. It, you, you're not, it, 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 Diddy's empire wasn't built by accident, right? He's right. a smart guy. He really is. But the problem is those two, s intelligence and ego are separate. Whether or not you have intelligence, whether you ha have ability, ego is its own thing. So you could be the smartest man in the world, but if you have ego and a lack of something inside you, 
a longing, a, a, a feeling um, underwhelming, then that's a problem. It, it supersedes whatever brilliance you have. My, I think how this is relevant to the podcast and what we do is that you think of somebody, you know, every guy who would be like, oh, you got this girl because you got money. You got this girl because I got a Bugatti. I got a Lamborghini. You hear these, these clowns talk about their car and their condo. And yeah, all of those things are variables. They're, they're true variables that affect a woman's decisioning. But here's what happens. This is a guy who had every, if you really think that women, I mean, and I've seen bitter, bitter dudes talk about how they, you know, none of this is relevant if you don't have money, if you don't have the car, if you don't have the clothes. The, the, here's a guy who had all of those things, right? All of the things that the that anybody who who goes against me and what my philosophies are and what the philosophies for this podcast is, guys go against me all the time. It's money, it's this, it's resources, it's this. This guy had all the resources and then he had to threaten them with physicality, threaten them with physical harm, threaten them with the, the ability not to, to earn a living, the, the money and bribe and blackmail with all of these things that we, that every man who we've ever spoke to, everyone that's ever called in, everyone that's ever had a consultation, all are under these perceptions that all of these things make you attractive, that women only want those things. And here's a guy who, not he a bad guy. He had all those guy, things. He achieved all those things. Success. Exactly. Go ahead. And it mean, wasn't enough. It wasn't, and it wasn't enough. enough. It wasn't enough. And, and it has also has to. nothing to do with with being a man. Honestly. Yeah. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202. And we're talking, what are we talking about? We're really talking about, you know, outrageous, uh, outrageous activities to deal with his particular insecurities. Because why? Because he never told the truth. So if he was, if he was gay or bi or whatever he was, literally he could have have been all of those things. I mean, nobody was more gay than Elton John, and he was open and honest about it. And it never stopped him from from making money. I I would I, I understand that hip hop is a little bit different. That at the time homophobia, there was always been a a, a, a high level of homophobia in the black community and the hip hop community. But not but literally, you you can't even say that now because Nas X blew the fuck up. Just ridiculous. Uh, Frank Ocean was the first outwardly gay rapper kind of artist, and he was embraced on levels that, and we, I don't even know when Frank Ocean came out, but I mean, we're talking about maybe like 10 years ago. But we're saying this guy had every, every excuse that I've ever heard from anybody that I consulted with or got, you know, got to get, had a conversation with everybody said it was the money, it was the cars, it was the six pack, it was the the power, it was all the houses, it was and and we've already said that. I've said this a thousand times, you know, Will Smith, five hundred million dollars in an infinity pool filled with his tears. You have these guys who have all of these things, and they're still simps. None of those things mattered. And so at the core of what we have to understand what's important, at the core of that has to be something that's relevant to something else. Like, what's the key? I mean, if we if we look at, at a guy like Diddy, who, you know, I, from what I understand, I, don't, I think he didn't grow up with his father. He grew up with his mom and, you know, and he, but, he, but here's a guy who came to New York specifically to to work for free, to build something from nothing and got his own art. I mean, whatever he did sexually to do that, with, if he did with Jerry Ivey, but his even doing those things were relevant to the fact that we really have no relevancy to the fact that when he got into those positions, what did he ultimately do? He did the same things. He operated from the same level of insecurity, the same level of 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 that I'm not good enough. 
So I have to find leverage to force you to do what I want you to do. Because the reality is he wasn't good enough. He wasn't, wasn't good, good enough, enough as, as a human being. And so he achieved all this success, and it, it's a tale as old as time. It wasn't a, probably not, maybe not good looking enough, was a nerd or whatever, focused. He didn't have that. And that is something that these guys end up lacking. They have an insecurity about it, and now they're going to bend people's will. And it's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's disgusting, right? And it becomes its own addiction where yeah. it's not good enough now to get. Now it becomes you, you're, you're so, you have such low self esteem that it becomes going after the things that are the most elusive so you could feel better than other people because that's also right. what it's about. Because you, right. you know, how far can I push it? How far can how I far push can it? How far can I push people? How far can I bend people's will? Because I need to validate the fact that I'm a good person. That I'm that, not that I'm a good person, but I'm important that I have value because in good being good is it's clearly not it's about good. If you're if you're bending people's will, you know, commend essays and blackmail and sexual blackmail and all kinds of things like that. It's not about goodness at all. It's about importance and value. Yeah. The other the other thing that you talk about is uh, we talk about guys who are these big time players, you know, people who have game, high rollers, high value men. And when you're just tossing money, you you're still it's still you're still a trick. You're still yeah. tricking. It's the, the only difference between when you go there and you have money and the whole thing is, well, I have a Lamborghini. So now women. Well, that's no different than paying money to a woman that's to it. sleep with you. It's no different. You're you're still doing when you go. Oh, I, I'm buying I'm buying bottles. I'm buying VIP for every. That's why women come over to you. Yeah, that has nothing to do with you. That you're still paying for it. You're not paying in cash, but you're still tricking. You're still paying for it. How about this? Any sexual fantasy that he had, no matter how gay he was, no matter how freaky he was, no whatever freak off, he could have paid people to do that. Sure. He, he could have yeah. paid, got the check and sp instead of instead of creating this illusion of not an illusion, but creating so much wealth and so many material things and then dangling those material things in front of people to get them to do things that they didn't want to do. He could have just out and out. Hey, and, and he's going to jail. I guarantee you this. He's going to get hung for this. You think it's, so? It's, it's too much. It's just too much. It's, it's just too many. I mean, stuff is coming out every day. I mean, you know, look, look how long they took them to get R. Kelly. And they're talking about now that they knew everybody was aware of what R. Kelly was doing before they bagged him up. But times change and people are just not going to let you slide with that. I mean, look how long Harvey Weinstein was doing. Um, you know, the, the only thing he might not get nabbed about is the the Epstein Island because every there's too many there's too many. Uh, important people that are hiding that, but I I think what the the real lesson is, and I've heard I haven't heard anybody talk about this from this perspective. How does a guy that achieves it literally is maybe one of the most important people in in the music business in in business, one of the highest paid, highest most influential influential black person people in yeah in entrepreneurial all across the board music film, clothes, everything, still didn't think he was enough, that he had to bend people's will, blackmail them, have abused them, use physical violence, use abuse, blackmail, or just no righteousness at all. Righteousness at all. No and kindness, no righteousness, no truth, no credibility, and no empathy. And this guy, and he's going to go to jail behind this because he just didn't even think he was good enough. And, you know, it goes to what you're talking about, like not having that, not having that be enough. Right. And we talk about for, for everybody, you know, when you think like, man, if I just make this, if I just get this promotion, you know, people right. will think better of me. If I this. just have this car, if I just had six car. figures, if I was just a millionaire, if I hit the lottery, none of that matters as a human being. This is a guy no. one way or another P Diddy hit the lottery. And it doesn't matter. You don't need all that to be happy. You don't need all that to be a decent human being. You don't need all that to be successful with women. You don't need any no. of that. And you think, no. and everyone thinks that that's what it is. And that's the thing that we deal with on this show. And that's you know also what we're trying to get people the mindset out of them, which is why we do the consultations. 
to help yeah. people out. Dante, how do they reach you for consultations, by the Dante way? DanteNero.com. Click on consult. For Harry, you can go, get him at advice with... with No, it's advice high, from uh, Harry at gmail.com. Advice is from Harry at gmail.com. Yeah. Hit him up and talk. Yeah. This, this is amazing to think about the magnitude of money, power, and influence that this guy thought he was trash. That he literally... And, and I mean, to be honest, he was trash. But he was thought he was trash and never even had he have listened to if he had called me up and consulted with me a couple of times, he it would have it things would have just been okay. And, and you see these guys who do that who are never happy. Go ahead. And the other thing is this when your happiness and your success is built purely on the finances, everything is the next thing because you're only yeah. when you're only placated by the success of a project, well, guess what? If a project doesn't work, you feel like shit. So now it's yeah. never enough. Every project has to be amazing. And if it doesn't, your self-esteem is nothing. So when it's built yeah. on that type of financial success, when your whole personality, your whole self-esteem is built on the financial success, the problem is when you don't maintain that, which is impossible to do for anybody, it's impossible yeah. for anyone, no matter how successful you are, then it goes away and you start to feel inadequate. On a base level, you have to understand that life means more than getting laid, getting cars, getting getting smacked. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, we, you know, I like I've said, I've I've been famous adjacent. I don't really, I mean, I ain't rich, but I don't. I, I, there's nothing I can't buy if I want to buy it. If I really want to buy it. But the the point is, I've never seen the, I've never seen any of these people happy. They're never happy for no time. And if they're chasing that. That brass ring, there's always another one. It's an, another Lamborghini. It's another this. It's another party. It's another, and they're never happy because it's another gold record. Now I want to win a Grammy. Now I need two Grammys. Now I need to go into acting. Now I need to win awards. Now I need to win an Oscar. It now I need stop. to take a straight dude artist and make him blow me so that he, he is so I feel as though that I'm so powerful that I can make somebody who doesn't even want to do this to. There's no even enjoyment in this, but which, I mean, with Ja Rule, I, I wonder. But now, now, in all fairness, with Diddy, he did warn us. He said that he wouldn't stop. He told us that we won't stop. He told me he would never he stop. Did. He said he told us he we told won't never stop. stop. And he said he's bad boy for life. We should have seen all of these things coming. Life. This is our fault. And he did say, take that, take that, yeah, take that. And everybody was like, what does he mean? And then, and there's a lot of people who know exactly what to take that. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution? Be a pockets. Don't forget, live stream every Tuesday at 8.30. Man School YouTube page. Like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. I love y'all, man. We are out. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.